So we're live? We're live. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you want to tag Daniel O'Brien in this video? I already no. did. No. It's too late. No. No. If you're watching this part, you're watching the recording, just a heads up, because somebody always starts commenting on it like I'm live like five hours later. Um, I'm not going to be live at two in the morning. So, um, Brandy, go pay attention to that. Go. Get away. You can watch this later. Okay, bye. All right. So, I have a container full of testas here. We're not going to do all of them. That would be weird. Dan would probably hate me for that. And it's unnecessary. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing that. Um, but what's in this box is brand new testers, new scents that come out March 1st. March 1st. Dan doesn't care. He's not him, Jerry. He's going to care when we... I'll sniff when needed. When we sniff. I even grabbed... I'm watching a baby rhino. The brand new catalog. It's a baby rhino. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Did you see new things? Because there were new more things. Interesting. It's a baby rhino. Is that from here? I don't know. There's a new. There's a baby. It doesn't look rhino. like it's from here. No, it doesn't. All right. So we're gonna go through the new releases for y'all. Cause I know you like Dan's opinion on things. Pretty much your favorite. Um, hold on, I need to find. First, I'm gonna go with. Oh, there it is, right here. I put them in order. It's pretty awesome. All right. Where is this weird new one? Okay, here it is. This is um. Candy Crave, and I haven't, I've only sniffed like two of these. I also waited to sniff these. So you're getting a live, unaltered opinion of an adulterated opinion. That's the word I wanted. Um, of what these scents are. So this one I did sniff because I thought I would for sure hate this one. It's a new kid scent. And it's called Candy Crave, which sounds horribly, sickeningly sweet and makes me kind of want to throw up to say it. What is it again? Candy Crave. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it says it's just the sweet stuff. Raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow, which sounds awful. <laughs> as far as scents go for me, because I don't like food scents. And I don't like super sweet. But I think the raspberry balances this one out. And some for some reason, I think this smells really good. It kind of smells like Blue Grotto. It kind of does. Yeah. Yeah. I don't hate it. I thought I was going to really hate this one. But it, it smells kind of like Blue it Grotto. Smells, it smells a little bit like the blue rock candy, like on the stick. Oh, yeah. But, like, more tart. I don't feel like it yeah. has... No? Hmm. It just smells like that. It's mild. It's good. I thought I would hate it. Don't hate it. I don't hate it. All right. So that's a new kid scent. That's a kid um, scent? Yep. Okay. And... I want to find Go Go Mango. What was it called again? Candy Crave. Okay. I'm going to find Go Go Mango here because Go Go Mango was in our summer flyer we had last summer. I'm just going to assume it's Go Go Gadget Mango. And it came back into the catalog. Ooh, you're going to like this one. Hi, Shelly. Go Go Gadget Mango. Go Go Gadget Mango. It's just Go Go Mango. Ooh. But Dan really likes mango, so I anticipate him liking this yeah. one. And some of you may have tried Go Go Mango. Hi, Jamie. Because I put the lid on your leg. Um, yep. Do you like Go Go Mango, babe? What else is in it? 
It is mango, melon, hibiscus, and banana flower. You know what it reminds me of? Shelly said, wake me up before you go, go mango. <laughs> <laughs> well That's done. a good one. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, the juice that you can only get at Disney. Pog juice? It does kind of smell like pog juice. Yep. Mm. It's the right color for pog juice. Passion. That's Need passion orange. fruit, orange, and guava, yeah. though. It yeah. doesn't even have mango in it. It reminds me of it. But delicious. Mm -hmm. All right. So, those were two not in the new releases category, but are new releases. So, I wanted to make sure we smelled those. Now, we shall go through the new releases. Are you ready, babe? Here. Well, I guess it doesn't flip backwards. No, it can. It, that might help, actually. I was just trying to... There we go. Just a little bit of weight. All right. So, this is A for Apple. Yeah, Shelly knows what Pog Juice is. Yeah, Pog Juice. This is A for Apple. I like this one. It smells like Granny Smith apples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, legit, it smells like you just cut open a fresh apple. It says Sweetheart, Granny Smith, and Macintosh with a offer a bite of pure apple bliss. That's really good. Pure apple bliss. It's legit like you just were slicing up. Granny Smiths. Yeah. Maybe a little bit less tart than that. I think, but... yeah, the Macintosh breaks up the super tartness, yeah. but it's still tart. It's really good. People who liked Apple Press. Oh, yeah, that's good. Will love that. Will you put them kind of in order so that I don't forget what order? I guess they're alphabetical. It's okay. Um. So, yeah, that one's delicious. Okay. This is Accidentally in Love, Gingery Tangerine. And exotic palm frond keep things bright and clean. What is it called again? Ooh, I think you'll like that. Um, accidentally in love. It's nice though. The ginger is different, but like in a good way. It's ginger, gin, gingery tangerine and palm frond. It smells like gumdrops. It has that spice from the ginger, yeah. yeah. But I smell the tangerine in there, though. Yeah. I like that. It's good. Yeah. That's, like, spicier than... It's really good. ...they normally do in the summer. Um, Jamie, I, th I saw you say something about the box. We got this really awesome box at our convention. Look it. It's for mini testers. It's got like little dividers in it and a this awesome chart that you can stick in that tells you what order and what category all the testers are. And I do like oh, it. I got tzatziki on my fingers. You got what on your I fingers? I have the remnants of tzatziki on my fingers. It's ruining it. Oh, tzatziki. That's, we had that in, with our dinner. It's not weird that he said that. You still like that one? I'm trying, trying to decide. I'm trying to figure out a more specific candy that reminds me of, but I can't quite place it. It's close to gumdrops, though. Something very specific in it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get it. Um, I'm not sure, Rochelle, if this box is actually going on sale to everybody. This box may have been world tour only. Just a heads up. Okay. Um, all you need is love. Is next. We just had a love one. Accidentally in love, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, this is the one I had you smell. This is the bar we got at World World Tour. It is uh, coconut sugar, coconut sugar, creamy vanilla, and Bing cherry. No. No. There's a certain funk between the. It's very between, sweet. Between the cream. I kind of want to warm it, and I can because I have a bar of it. I kind of want to warm it because I'm wondering if the Bing cherry comes out when it's warmed. Like, the I'm getting initial, the cherry. I get the cherry. The initial sniff it, of it to me is too sweet. It's too foody. I get that weird, sweet, creamy funk that might affect me more than you because I hate 
creamy, creamy thing. Yeah, you're weird about creamy things. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. No. We're Maybe not big foodie fans, so no. foodie foodie things are not. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if it was warmed and I kind of liked it. This actually I, comes. There's a. I don't like it cold. The for the first time ever, they're releasing an oil for the diffuser that matches that. And uh, I think I think in the diffuser I might like it more because it like isn't as strong. I don't know. All right, aloe water and cucumber. So it should be mild then. This should be. Fish. I'm expecting spa. Yeah. Ooh, I like this a lot. If you like pear blossom and cucumber, I love you too. I wasn't just saying that. Alyssa said that to me, guys. Sorry. Um, this is aloe water and cucumber. If you like pear blossom and cucumber, this is very similar, and I like this a lot. Aloe water? It smells like a shampoo that I'm, like an herbal essence is that I've. Cucumber used peel? Before. I can see that. Palm frond and pineapple nectar. Yeah, this is like a legit. Herbal oh, essence. so mellow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's nice. It's nice and clean yeah it reminds me of pear blossom cucumber a lot which i love okay apricot vanilla apricot vanilla mm -hmm. this one's heidi's favorite which means heidi i love you but i usually disagree with your favorites yeah oh no i like this one. Ooh, i like that Ooh, i like that Heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla I was say, ice I got cream. Peach. I was getting peach off of that. All right. And vanilla ice cream. I like that a lot. I'm not getting I mean, much apricot, vanilla. The vanilla is really no, subtle. It, which is fine for me. Yeah. Because it doesn't make... Usually... Hi, Rebecca. Usually the hi, the ones Heidi picks as her favorite are like super sweet foodie ones. I like that. Yeah. Mmm, this is nice. It makes me want to make cobbler. Yeah. <laughs> Without tasting, or without smelling like awful food poop. <laughs> it doesn't. It smells very, very fruity. It's very peach and apricot, mm -hmm. which is like a... I bet, the, I'm sure the vanilla would come a out. A layer you, of vanilla heat, underneath. As you heated it up, I'm sure the vanilla would come out. Yeah, I'm excited to try that one in bar mm -hmm. form. That one's good. Blue hyacinth. It's a flower. Yes. Okay. It's kind of like a lilac. Lilac? Smells just like it. <laughs> so that's strong. It was very pungent. I, I breathed too Pungent deep. is not the right word. I it, breathed it in quite a lot. <laughs> if you like the smell of hyacinths, you will like this. It's very flower shop. It smells just like hyacinths. Yeah, it's, like it's, a it's, hyacinth not, it's not a fake flower shop scent. It's just no. It smells. Shop it smells identical. We had hyacinth bushes at yeah. my parents' house, yeah. and it smells. Yeah, it's fine. Just like it's them. Not, it's not for me, but you know. No, we don't really do florals, no. but it's, it's it fine. does smell just like hyacinth. No, there's, so. no, there's no fakeness there. Um, it is not like an overly perfumey floral. It just no. smells like the flower. All right, I assume I'm gonna hate this one. It's a food one. It is caramel sugar cone. That's gonna suck. Gooey caramel, vanilla, sugar cone, and a touch of malt. That's not gonna be good. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to warm it. But it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Right? Usually this, the ones that are sweet like that are like I overly should, sweet. Yeah, I should hate this. Yeah, it's not as bad as... as I was like expecting like a French toast. It actually does kind of smell like, like a sugar cone. Yeah, like a waffle cone. Yeah. Well, we'll yeah. Put the caramel in there. That's not bad. I don't want to warm it, but it's not that bad. No, it's not appealing to me, but if you're a food person, we can we can maybe I can, agree I can, on this one. Yeah, I mean it kind of smells like yeah. an ice cream parlor kind of thing. Yeah. So. It's it's got that sugariness of an ice cream parlor without being like I wanna hurl because this is all sugar and <laughs> it's kinda of weak, honestly. 
I know. I just like I like sniffed my arm. I thought maybe my nose was going crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should right. hate it, but I don't. Should hate it, but we don't. How about that? I don't care, Nikki. Um, Darling Dahlia. Dahlias are one of my favorite flowers. Okay. This has heirloom peach, bashful dahlia, and strawberry. I, I just smell the fruitiness. Yeah. I smell the, the dahlia on my finger. It's mm. like really light. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. I don't hate it. Mm. It's a little fruity. Yeah. Little floral. It doesn't do anything for me. Yeah. yeah. All right. I need to sniff myself to go nose blind. Sniff yourself, babe. I smell wonderful. Well, we did just shower. Oh my god, this smells just like fruit punch. What is it? Wow, that's weird. Did you already say the name and description? Nope. Well, you should do that. I sniffed it first. The people at home have no idea what we're doing. This is called Let's Get Punchy. Punchy. Don't you do it. It's abuse. I'm calling the police. It just makes me think of um, How I Met Your Mother. No? Ted's friend Punchy? No, I don't know that, actually. Oh, man. I'm going to have to tell you about Ted's friend, Punchy. Does anybody else watch How I Met Your Mother? This set is called Let's Get Punchy, and it makes me think of How I Met Your Mother. Um, navel, so- navel orange, tropical cherry, and apple slices. I was going to say, it's halfway between Hawaiian punch and high sea. It smells like... High sea orange. It smells like fruit punch. It's somewhere between those two, because it has orange I like in it. it. It's got, yeah, it's good. It smells right? like fruit punch. I like want to drink it. I want to lick it. Go ahead. I'm I'm done. <laughs> it's a little, little fruity. If I close this, is it like a bacteria I'm going to grow? Maybe. There, I wiped it off. <laughs> it smells like fruit punch. I want to drink it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Mandarin Splash. I expect to like this one. Should be good. <laughs> Jamie. I didn't eat it. I licked it. Jamie said it's not it's non toxic. It's okay. It's non toxic. Mandarin splash. This is Mandarin with light woodsy notes. Light woodsy notes? Ooh, I like this. I don't really smell the mandarin, but I like the scent a lot. <laughs> it smells woodsy. I like that. So what is this, like Florida forest? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I love this. I need to smell it again. It's kind of, <clears throat> it's unique. It is. It is unique. Mm-hmm. I don't think we've ever had a scent like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that a lot. Smell. Smell my finger. It's not any better than this. Oh, I like that. That's my favorite so far. Yeah. My brain is struggling to find anything to compare this no, to, and I got nothing. But I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. It is kind of woodsy, but not in a manly way. No. It does kind of like probably exact like probably is kind of what walking through like a manly yeah, grove say, smells like. More, more forest, less woods. Yes, I don't know. That's good. That is good, guys. I like that one a lot. That's my favorite so far. Mandarin Splash. Right? Aloe water and cucumber and Mandarin Splash and let's get punchy. That's where I'm at so far. Okay. What do you think? I feel like I liked one of the loved ones, too. Was it Accidentally in Love? Accidentally in Love. It's the gingery one. Oh, that one just... It was right. Oh, Oh. Oh, so scary. This one has a funk oh, go, to go, it. Mango. I forgot. Oh. Yeah, I like to go go mango. Why does this have a funk? 
I don't what think is it? I like it. What is it? Describe it. Um, Midnight in Caracal. We just learned about Caracal. Is it, or is it Curacao? Cur Cur Curacao? I think it's Curacao. Curacao? Curacao? Anybody know how to pronounce that? Caracal? Curacao. Curacao? I don't know. Oh, um, it smells like... Current, orange, and Maribel plum. No, it, sm it smells like a flavor of like black and milds. <laughs> There's like a tobacco <laughs> flavor in here. No, if it was tobacco, I would like it. I don't like it though. It's. <sighs> There's a funk. There's a funk. It's got a funk. <sighs> nope. It's got a funk. Cure, cure, Curaco? I think the A is silent. I thought it was Curacao. Because Cur Cur there's a little Cur squiggle below the C. There is a little squiggle below the C. But that makes it like a best. Maybe you should Google how to pronounce it. Google Maybe would tell us. I'm seriously getting like tobacco ash. I don't know. It's weird. There's a funk. I don't like it. This is this is the worst one so far. Uh, this is the worst one so far. Today, yes. We have no, had today. far worse. This is not the worst scent. What's the one that everyone loves that we think is like awful? That got voted back and we thought it was wretched. There were a few that we didn't like in the Bring Back My Bar. There's one who says comes back every time and is just awful. I don't know. We got in like arguments with people about it. I have to go back and look. I don't remember which one it was. No, this um, is the worst one of this round yeah, so far. I don't know why this exists. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Can you look up how to pronounce that? Yes. We're going to look it up. We're going to find out for sure. C U R A Funky C. A O. Is there a pronunciation guide? How I thought Wikipedia would have. You gotta do how to pronounce. You didn't put in the full question. I could do that. Or I could just go to Wikipedia. Is it gonna play it? I thought it would. I don't think that I don't think that's what it's doing. I thought it does that. Either way, that's Curacao. Cur Cur Curacao. 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 So. Curacao. That's what the internet says. Curacao. How to say? Come on. We're learning things, guys. Don't be an ad. Don't be stupid. Oh, God, it's going to be an ad. Nope. Curacao. 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 It's very mixed reviews. Curacao. There's 225 up and 199 well, down. So. I don't care about that. Curacao. That's what the internet just told me. Okay. Midnight and Curacao. No, thank you. Not interested. Oh, yeah. If you say cure us so. Cure us so. Yeah. Okay. So. Don't like it. Thumbs down. Um, we have four more left. Pineapple pucker. That could be way over the top. I like pineapple. I do too. We have a pineapple cut up in yep. fact. Yes, we do. This is literally fresh pineapple steals the show in this eye-opening tropical production. That's what it says. Nope, smells like plastic. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it smells like wax for a second. Like, of course not. Pineapple. We still have pineapple sorbet, which is like my life. It smells like plastic. Don't you smell it? No. No. Okay, give it to me. It again. Smells like Dole Whip. No, pineapple smells sorbet like, smells like Dole Whip. It smells like Dole Whip. No. It smells like Dole Whip, babe. No. Nope, you're wrong about that. Like Dole Whip. You're wrong about that. We're gonna, I'm gonna pull out Dole Whip here. Here, do this. No, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you Dole Whip. I'm gonna punch <laughs> you in the face. 
But you want to have the let's get punchy and... Yeah, let's get punchy. That's what I just said. Pineapple pucker all at once. Oh, my God. Gonna... It's wonderful. Stop. This one is Dole Whip. I like this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this one is Dole Whip. Get your hands out of my face. You just had your hands in my face. That one is Dole Whip. I can barely smell this at all. Well, warm it up then. This, is, I'm getting pineapple out of this. That I'm getting. <coughs> this is Dole Whip. Straight up. Lies. <laughs> you're insane. You're wrong. You're wrong. Don't listen to him. Just crazy. Pineapple sorbet is Dole Whip. No. He's wrong. No. Everyone agrees with me on this. We've had pineapple sorbet for a long time. Nope. Pineapple pucker. Dan, Dan approved for... Dole Whip. He doesn't even know his. He doesn't even know his <laughs> Dole Whip life. Wait, where's that cone one? Sugar cone. Caramel. Sugar. The caramel yeah. thing. That doesn't work. <laughs> it does not work at all. Try caramel covers it up entirely. All right. Moving on to the next thing. I don't. I'd... Or, here we go. Um, when you get a banana split, and there's like the three different flavor groups. Yes. One of them is like the pineapple juice on top. Yes. Like the pineapple chunks and like syrupiness. Yes. That's this. Okay. If you say so. I guess. What do you mean you guess? Dodgy McJudges on over here. I like this. I would totally Ooh, mix. This... I would totally mix pineapple punch. I'm in a rainforest. Like a other things. Would, all right, now what is it? And what is it? This is Rainforest Bungalow. Okay. Palm frond, dewy lemongrass, and aloe flower. I'm in a rainforest. It smells like the rainforest. It smells like one of the scents used in Soren. Ooh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Disney my house. Yeah. Specifically Soren USA you know, Soren over California. Yep. When you're flying over the golf course. Yep. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. Yeah, that's alright. Okay. This one I'm pretty sure is going to end up being first place for me, so. <clears throat> I'm hopeful. You're uh, poisoning the well here with my, my choices. What are these three here? It's just continuing the order. Oh. Oh, sweet baby Jeebus. <laughs> oh, I can't hand this one over. Oh, that's amazing. Ooh, I like that a lot. This is sheer leather. Bergamot... A hint of leather and sandalwood. I love bergamot and sandalwood. Mm. I think it's great. Doesn't do anything for me. You're wrong. The scent is sexy. I guess. If you, if you wore like cologne or soap or something that smelled like this, I'd be all over you all the time. Work on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go into Macy's and ask for the bergamot. <laughs> Can I please just <laughs> take me, the tester in? <laughs> give me the bergamot. Can you give me the bergamot? Give me all the bergamot. Bergamot and sandalwood with a hint of leather. Tell them that's what you want. See what Just for happens. A sandalwood bergamot sandwich. That sounds gross. Yes. This doesn't do it for me at all. I like it. I like Not it a all. lot. Which is ironic I mentioned Macy's because this makes me think of a department store. That's disgusting and wrong. That's what I think about this. You're wrong. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. White grapefruit. It's the last one. I will probably like this. Your nose says you don't like this. I don't know. I feel like there's a funk. Can I want to like this. You put that entirely up your nose. Yep. 
polished white grapefruit and a hint of fruit <laughs> nectar. It's a funk. It's got a funk. It's like the tartness of grapefruit is like slapping me in the face. Like that like weird like that um acidic part of the grapefruit tartness. There's almost a a pepperiness to it, like a like a spicy pepper. Like if you put grapefruit slices in a poblano, which you try you shouldn't do that. Yeah, I don't know. Right? I feel like it needs to be warmed. I think it's like the weird like like that acidity that's in grapefruit. I, I just it smells enough like a hot pepper that I'm I'm worried about getting splashes of pepper sauce in my face. There's no pepper in it. But you know what I mean? Like with I seriously smell like a spicy pepper in here. I see why you smell that. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? What were you with, talking about? Like how grapefruit, because it's like so acidic. Like when you first like smell grapefruit, it like has like this weird, like strongly acidic note to it. And that's mm. like, I feel like it's all that note. Yeah, I want to feel this. I want to, I want to smell this warmed up. I do too. It's kind of because I like grapefruit. I do too. We usually like ones with the tart citrus. Is there like a more mild grapefruit kind of fruit that this could be mimicking instead? What else is there? Not like another fruit. That's yeah, like it's like a grapefruit, but it's not actually a grapefruit. Palmello. Palmellos and. I don't know what else. I don't know. I don't know. I want to try this. I would hope that warmed it would like mellow out. So that's all of them. It makes me think of that really weird lemonade with jalapenos that I had. Oh yeah, that was weird. It was just it was just not quite right. Um, that was all of them. Candy Crave is a new scent in kids. Um, Go Go Mango came back from the summer flyer last summer. Um, and then we had A's for Apple, Accidentally in Love, All You Need is Love, Aloe Water and Cucumber, Apricot Vanilla, Blue Hyacinth, Caramel Sugar Cone, Darling Dahlia, Let's Get Punchy, Mandarin Splash, Midnight in Curacao. Yep. Did I do that right? Yep. Um, Pineapple Pucker. Rainforest Bungalow, Sheer Leather, and White Grapefruit. Those are all your newbies. Um, I have to say, Aloe Water and Cucumber, Apricot Vanilla, Let's Get Punchy, Mandarin Splash, Rainforest Bungalow, and Sheer Leather. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's my top six. What were your faves, babe? Uh, Go Go Mango is good. I like that apple one. That was pretty good. I like the pineapple, even though you didn't like it. Count them all. The punch. Let's get punchy. Punchy was good. Mandarin Splash. We really liked that one. That was so unique. Yeah, I, I want to. I want to smell that one warmed up. Uh, um, I don't know. If you want to know my thoughts, you can just listen again. <laughs> I forget. Forget. He forgets already. That's a very guy thing to say. That's sexist up in here. Wow. Um, and those so those are all the new scents. And then we did add a lot to um, laundry and clean and body. Um, Amazon Rain got added all the way across in laundry. Um, that would probably be a really good laundry scent. Amazon Rain? Oh, wait, no, what was this one? You haven't smelled the, 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 oh, okay. the new one. I was thinking Rainforest Bungalow would be pretty awesome. That would be a good one, yeah. Pristine Waters got added to laundry, and Pristine Waters actually is in a um, Wash for the Heart bundle um, starting March 1st, and part of the um, proceeds of that are actually $9 of every bundle goes to Habitat for Humanity. So that's kind of cool. Um, Lemon Verbena got added to Clean, um, as well as Sea Salt and Avocado. And Shimmer and Sugar are in the catalog and got added to Body. So um, 
that's an excitement for people who really love those and they've been gone for a while and they are back. Um, I think that's all I know. But that's our opinions about all the new spring summer scents. They come out March 1st. They'll be here for six months and you can get them on March 1st at dawngetswaxy.com. And we'll see you. Whoa, that was a big yawn. Still going. Wowzer. Wowzer. Mm. We'll see you next time that there's something to sniff so you can get this guy's hilarious opinions. What is, what is that? I don't know. What is that? The thing I'm doing. Okay. I'm super into it these days. I love you. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.